Okay, welcome. So this video is um, a little bit of a three-part series going over the importance, I believe, of wilderness bosses. So when you complete your wilderness medium uh, diary, you unlock Ardeo, Calvarion, and Spindle. So I'm going to go make a video for each boss and release them. First I'm going to do is Ardeo, which seems like a hard boss to get into. He's very easy. Uh, I only have 85 magic. I would say have at least 80 magic for um, Blood Blitz. But Blood Barrage is where you can really farm out the boss. Um, when it comes to collection logs for Ardeo, I've killed him 79 times, which as you can see I've gotten very spooned. I've gotten the pet and the hilt. Um, so we're gonna do a couple more. From inventory, I bring eight prayer potions, uh, 16 sharks. I bring 500 death runes, a thousand blood runes. You have to, you know, go back every now and then. Some of these say you can do 40 kills a trip. But realistically, you're never going to get that just because people do PK there. And you really want to only wear stuff that you're willing to lose. I um, also have the Royal Seed Pod. Uh, it's Monkey Madness too. Another thing I would highly recommend you doing before doing these wilderness bosses just because it's a one-click teleport that gets you out under 30 wilderness. And all three of these bosses are below level 30 wilderness. Um, teleport house just because I have, you know, my max house that I utilize a lot. Now to go over gear real quick, I use, uh, you want to use the Blood Bark set. So I have the helm the body, the legs, the boots. I just have the regular Zamora Cape, Book of Darkness, um, a Cult, a Cursed Scepter A, and a Tormented Bracelet. So you want to switch this over because when you switch it over, um, with that one, when you switch it, like this has a swap option, it just does its charge staff attack. But when it's set to this, you can auto cast. And right now I have my autocast set up for Blood Blitz. Now, you can wear different gear. You can get the higher cape. I haven't done Major Arena 2. But let's uh, do the walkthrough. So, what I do is I teleport to my house. I have my fountain set up. And then you're going to go to Ferox Enclave if you have the Jewelry Box or if you just have Rings of Dueling through this northern portal. And this is the RDO cave up here. So let's go check. And once you kill them 20 times, you'll be able to peek in to see if there is other people in there. So I'm going to do that now. There's activity inside. So switch to a different world. Just want to find a world that doesn't have anyone in there. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to set up your quick players to protect from melee, your highest magic stat, don't need preserve because I'm not using magic potions. Turn on your prayer. Run up to Ardeo. Like the special attack one because it lowers his magic defense. And then you just auto cast. I'll do another kill after this just because it looks like somebody was currently fighting him. But yeah, basically what you do is you stand next to him in melee range, protect from melee. The reason you have, I have hard food with me is because his attacks go through that protect from melee prayer and sometimes with just having blood blitz I can't fully heal the damage. That's why the barrage is better for this. You know, I'll just leave that, just lump, limp roots. And then he usually spawns here. Like I said, I do the special attack to lower his magic defense. Because if you look at the special attack, it uh, lowers your target's magic and defense levels by up to 15%. And then you just stand there 
and you can, you know, this is how I do the audio farm. Now, I know this is a little bit longer video, there's you know, no cuts, went through the world hopping and everything together, and let's see what we get. As you can see, sometimes, see my health is still falling, won't be that high, I go through prayer caution. Prayer potions a little too fast compared to other people because I keep my prayer full just in case you know peak hair comes down. But nine times out of ten, with my current skill, if somebody comes in here and I can't teleport away, I'm just gonna die. Now, I want to be honest with you me doing it this way because I only put you know 1500 ether in my staff to begin with a thousand to charge it and 500 there I've uh, been PK'd so much out here in the wilderness that I really only stay around for like five to six kills because even if somebody comes in um, that amount of ether isn't gonna last you that long see like I charged it right before the video started you can check your staff. I'm already down to 461. And even though I'm not doing, you know, the charge attack, the staff still uses charges because, you know, it gives you that bonus accuracy towards wilderness bosses. So it's still serving its purpose. So you're still going through the charges above that 1,000. But when you get PK'd, you're going to lose that 1,000 ether. Uh, and that's like 200k right there. So it's something that you just want to be careful with. I recommend, highly recommend putting the, you know, the bare minimum in so you can get a couple kills. You can hang out. You, know, you stand over here when they spawn. People drop in, they're gonna drop in over there. If you're quick enough, you can hit your seed pod and get out. And if you want to be a little risky, one thing I also suggest is just come back. Because usually when the peak air comes down, if you get away, they'll leave. Audio, like if I could teleport right now, Audio would still be at 149 HP, and I can just come back, finish my kill, pick up where I left off. You know, you don't have to teleport out, world hop, and not come back, because I've never personally, in my personal experience, going through this, um, you know, hunting down the Void Waker pieces, I've uh, I've never experienced coming back and the person still be waiting there, waiting for me to teleport back. You know, they're they're going through their farming process, trying to find people to kill you get away most times they just move on to the next place see if they can get somebody else but yeah i appreciate you watching uh, i hope you have a wonderful day and uh have a great weekend happy memorial day and see pretty good drop 121k um but yeah i'm gonna be uh, also uploading one for calvarion and also uh spindle which are arguably easier than rdo i think spindle's probably the easiest out of the three um, just for the ability to be able to stand there and, you know, get as many kills as you want and then leave and come back. Um, yeah, once again, toodles and have a wonderful day.